Hello, how are you? How are you today? Fine, fine. Now are good because you you are starting. You are going to start the class. Yes, we're ready, 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 right? <clears throat> Tell me that you watch the video that was for assignment. Yes. Mm -hmm. No, teacher. No, no. Uh oh. Uh oh. Let's go. Uh oh. <laughs> because we cannot watch it. <coughs> we cannot watch it in class, unfortunately. But, well, um, we're going to see what we do. Mm -hmm. Let's check. Okay, I'm going to call attendance. Oh, come on. Oh. Teacher. Hola. Voy a estar de oyente un rato porque voy llegando a San Miguel. Ah, vaya, Carlita. That's okay. Mm -hmm. Tell me present. Good evening, teacher. Hello, how are you? I'm so tired. But it's almost Friday. <laughs> I was going to tell you it's Friday, but no. New Tomorrow, Friday. Friday. Tomorrow, Friday. You don't work Saturday, or do you? No, no, I don't. No. Ah, good. Good. That means just one more day of work. And then you will be free. Yeah. Nice. Nice, nice. Good evening, everybody. Hello. How are you? Fine, thank you. Anna, how are you? Fine, thank you. Fine. No pierde ratitos. Right? Vaya, vamos a ver. Tell me present, Adriana Maria. Adriana, no. Adriana Sofía. Present teacher. Ana. Present teacher. Cruz Antonio. Present teacher. Nice, nice. David. Mm -hmm. No, David. That's very strange because David is, is the first one connecting. Eddie Jonathan, Eddie, Elmer Fabricio, <coughs> Elmer, Elsa Cristina, no here, El Felix, present teacher, present teacher, oh. <laughs> I am so sorry. I am celebrating. I am celebrating I the first day for my, my favorite niece. I imagine that you were celebrating. Okay. Say yeah. And, Say and they invited me and they invited me to celebrate. Nice. <laughs> okay. So sorry. I, I didn't hear you. No, it's okay. Say hello to Carlita. Yeah. Okay. I imagine that you were there. We have a niece in common. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hello, happy birthday. Thank you. <laughs> okay, that's why I I am in mute and the camera is off. Okay. Okay, so sorry. <laughs> nice. Okay. Okay, let's see. Okay, Elsa Cristina here. Nice. And Grace Mitchell. Grace, Grace, not here yet. Ivo Marcela, 
Yvonne, no? Jennifer Elizabeth, Jennifer. Jose Alberto. Present teacher. Jose Alfredo. Jose Alfredo. No. Carlita. Present teacher. Nice. Mario es Mario. <laughs> I was about to change your name. Uh, Nubia Zulema. Nubia. Mario Alberto le iba a decir. A cambiar nombre. Nubia. Nubia, Nubia. Nubia. No, Nubia. No yet. Ah, only 12 people. Ok. Rebecca. Present teacher. Rosy. Rosy, Rosy, Victor, Victor, not here. Present teacher, I am Nubia. Oh. Okay, Nubia, Nubia. Good. Thank you, teacher. You sound like a robot, Nubia. What, teacher? You sound like a robot. Robot. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Claudia Guadalupe. Claudia. We're here, Claudia. Oh, nice. Nice. Mauricio. Present teacher. Nice. Okay. Anybody else arrived after I call you? Who arrived after I call you? Nobody? <clears throat> okay. Well, let's minimize the. Well, remember, we have been talking. Here we are. We have been talking about branding, right? That's the name, that's the unit that we are going to start today. Branding. What do we know about branding? I'm going to share a couple of questions that we were discussing yesterday. So you discuss that same. <clears throat> yesterday we discussed them like quickly, 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 but today we're going to go more in detail, right? But before I want you to say this. Check. When we talk about branding, why branding, right? Why? When we talk about branding, we include all these aspects. Check. Advertising, the value, yeah? The value, the strategy to be used, the trust. People uh, trust in a brand, right? And they say next time, hey, no, you should buy this brand in particular because it's very good. Also, that brand has a special design. Mm -hmm. And it is known by a law, right? So that's why we are going to consider all these things when we talk about branding. Now, let's move back. Why is it important? Why is it important to create a strong brand for a product? Do you feel identified with a brand that you represent? Oh, probably you don't represent it, but you use it a lot, right? I'm going to send you to the groups right now for you to go and discuss with your partners and tell me about branding. Let's see, we are 13. Let's make groups. Groups of three will be okay. <clears throat> there you go. We are on page 100, no, page 25, 125. On page 25 in your manual. Okay, go ahead. Page 25. 
join. <coughs> Do you see your group? Did you say join? Mm -hmm. Hi. A ver, who are here? We're in mute. <coughs> <coughs> Hello. Let's see, Rebecca. Mario. Hello. Hola, hola. Hello. <laughs> Mario, Rebecca is talking and you don't answer to her. <coughs> I was doing something. Oh, okay. Bye, Rebecca. Mario is here. Okay. The question. <laughs> Why is it important to create a strong brand for, for a product? Uh, a strong brand. A strong brand. I think that uh, to create a strong brand would be um, the product quality. The product quality would be. Mm -hmm. Or maybe uh, the promotion that the company will give to to know the name of the com the company, for example. No branding. Talking about branding. Branding is one thing, and branding is another one. Ah. Branding. Ah. Oh, branding. So Why so. do you need a strong brand? Well, that uh, branding could be. I think that could be <coughs> the advertising that could, could be or something like that. What do you think you, Rebecca? Yes, for advertising, oh, it's important the client remember it. Uh, can, can the brand is is mark or is, is y, te la recuerde? Huh? Uh, I think it's important y, and the brand has a as a as a que tengo un lema no sé es como se diría un lema o una team phrase ajá team team the brand has a team or important phrase because the the client remember always I think okay what <laughs> which one are the <laughs> Sorry. Vamos mal, Mario. Sí, sí. Ay, no, ya which no. One are the, which are the other questions? Uh, do, you, do you feel identified with the brand that you represent? The brand identified or the brand that I represent in real life? Or in real life, uh, no, no, because uh, <coughs> I think that the company that right now I'm working, uh, they have a lot of problems. They are, they have uh, many years working, but 
they are not already a big company. So I think that they have a bad administration or a bad guy, for example. Okay. So, uh, I. When the people, when the people talk, that that was the homework. Yes. Um, they uh, the video said that a brand it is not only a name or only a, a picture or image image image. Yes. Uh, uh, it represent more than than you can see or you can hear. It is, it is a conjunto, it is a many things that you can take uh, in mind. Yes. I was, but I was wondering uh, how you create a brand because the, the examples, the samples that they gave us was for uh, Coca-Cola. Yes. And, a giant. If you think, <laughs> if you think how they think about Coca Cola, it, it because the it, the product came from maybe coffee. I don't know, or Coca. what they uh, what they call Coca Cola, and how they think that they make in in, in script letter. Mm -hmm. I don't know how to say letra de carta. Uh, or why they choose the colors or mm -hmm. how, the how, form. Can, uh -huh, how can they get that idea and how that idea uh, was a success mm -hmm. I don't know so for another another example I, I was wondering well if you think in, in in automobiles or cars if you say BMW, well, you can see comfort, uh, strong machines, um, fancy, durability, <laughs> uh, safety, uh, fancy, yeah. expensive. <laughs> but, but, but you can see that the product have visually or or is easy to us watch why the BMW is a good run yes because the because the futures are visible but in but, but, but how do you no. that your brand okay, will be different to another brand another brand will be unique unique unique, unique. we respect a uh, another product or services. So the next, do you feel identified with the brand that you represent? Mm, in my case, yes. I I feel identified with a brand uh, yeah, I can say, I can say too that I feel identified. The object, no, the goal of your business core, no, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Is like you choose an object, objective, and your brand has to has to communicate, has to express that feeling. I think. Mm -hmm. It's like um um. What's the word? Identity. Um, I 
what the, what the word teacher what uh, what can i say nostalgia nostalgic 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 mm -hmm. oh, okay uh, and in your case uh, i think this is the 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 most uh, the most important point because uh, the Latin community in, in the United States uh, yeah. yes because our products are nostalgic products uh -huh. but, uh, in, in, the, in, in, the snacks of your childhood mm -hmm. the fry beans of your grandmother mm -hmm. the cola cham the tropi champan that of the pupusa Sunday, <laughs> I don't know. Mm -hmm. uh, but there are uh, they are products that re that make you remember good times or family times or the times where when you living in your in your own country. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Yeah, right. This is my point. Mm -hmm. yeah. Because the uh, in in the United States, you always can be remember. Uh, well, uh, when I live in 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 El Salvador, I enjoy with the churritos. I enjoy with the the alborotos. Um, this is the this is the the most great feel or feeling. Uh, yeah. For, for people, I have always think thought that the brand is not the product. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're back. Let's see while I'm sharing. Okay. So why is it important to create a strong brand for a product? Why? Volunteer? For stay at the at the market for a long time and and, and grab the the customers. Mm -hmm. Exactly. If your brand is not strong. It won't last, right? It won't last long in the market. But if it is a strong brand, it will be there for, for a long time. Definitely. Okay. Who else wants to add something? Why? Another reason? Another reason for creating a strong brand? Uh, maybe teacher uh, the could be easy for you in the future if your brand is strong and and when I say strong uh, I say that your product is different than another don't care if the product that you are selling is the same that other but your product have maybe one thing that other product don't have. A value, yeah. Yes. Or a plus, we can say it. your product can have a plus, right? 
somebody there was mentioning Coca-Cola. Right? There are many sodas, but Coca-Cola is, is Coca-Cola. So it has, it has its own place in the market. And, and we can say that it's a very strong brand. Because if you ask who doesn't like Coca-Cola, even if we say, no, we shouldn't drink soda. But in a moment, we fall and we fall with Coca-Cola, right? Okay. Do you feel identified with the brand that you represent? Yes. Or no? I feel identified with the brand that I represent. Mm -hmm. I, I take like, no, I'm, I'm there since 14 years, I think. Yeah. And I, I have the vision to, for education that they have. And I think that I am, I am working in the same way. So it's very important to me feel like that. And also I think the product that we uh, gave to the society at the end of the, the time that the students stay at, at the school, uh, it's uh, I I am saying product, but we know that it that it is a product. Uh -huh. Yeah, of course, but that's. But, uh -huh. but I think the 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 student that we're studying at our, siendo uh, redundante at school, they are empathy. Uh, they are co-workers. They have uh, many abilities from for. A convivencia social that there are most important in life. I didn't say that academy is not important, but if you work in discipline, you're you're going to get it. But in in abilities of social convivence, <laughs> I think that they have a that kind of, of abilities in one of the most important is the older students are uh, taking care about the younger. And we work, uh, we work in that since uh, early years. So to me, it's the most important thing that we do. So I feel identified with my brand. Okay. Nice, 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 very good. And of course, that's very important, right? That you feel really identified with that brand. Because if you think that your brand is not good, why are you there? If you're part of that brand, right? You are a representative of the brand. Uh -huh. Are there another volunteer? Who else wants to cheer? Yes, yes. Aha, Mario. Tell me. Hi. Hello. What do you want to do? Do you this? feel do you feel identified with the brand that you represent? <clears throat> no. No, because uh, I am I am a little bit new in the company. Okay. So, um as I know, the company has a many, many years working, but they are not um, <clears throat> a famous or... Well, no. Or, well, no. It's not a well-known company, you can say. It's, it's not a well-known company. Well-known company. Okay. It is not a well-known company. So I really don't think that they are doing... A, the uh, the I don't think that they are doing good uh, the good things that they need to do. So I don't feel uh, feel in the same in the same way like like him. Okay. Okay. So that that's something to change, right? That there is something to improve. And you, as part of the company, you can get to see that yeah, yeah. changes for good work. 
right? Yeah. Okay. Nice, nice. Now, remember we're talking about running. Yesterday, I asked you to watch a video. And the first question that you saw in the video is, what is branding? What is branding? What are the parts of branding? What are things that we have to consider when we think of a brand? Mm -hmm. To begin, what is branding? Ui, where is everybody? Hmm. I just remember that they that, that the video said branding is not just a name or color or a picture. Mm -hmm. A brand represents something more than you can imagine. So uh, that's why you can think in branding about quality, long uh, I como la longevidad de la duración. Long lasting. Mm -hmm. Long lasting. Uh -huh. And they thought, they, they pretend to take you to think that you may be a brand. Mm -hmm. So the, that was that I catch in the video. Okay, very good. And remember that when you create a brand, you have to think about a design that would be attractive and not offensive in any way, right? Yes, the color. Mm -hmm. the, the colors, depending the on what you're going to sell. Mm -hmm. uh, I remember, Anna, you were asking why, how do they decide on the color? Well, you decide on the color of the logo depending on the product you want to sell. If it is food, Normally, have you noticed that most, we cannot say all, but most of the logos of products are red. Have you noticed that? Yes. Mm -hmm. I don't know why, but red becomes attractive to the eye and makes people desire the product more. Talking about food, right? Uh, food or drink. So you see something with the strong and, uh, and light color, you feel like you want to get that product, right? But if I show you, imagine I show you a salad that looks verde musgo, you will say like, Ugh. It's not in good condition, right? It has to look green, fresh. And if you show a, a product, for example, with the right colors, people will feel more like buying it. So the strategies of selling the product or make part of creating the brand that you will that you will get. Because this is this is something that you create at the end. People trust in your brand, right? For example, remember one of these days we were talking about shoes or sneakers and we were saying Adidas, Nike, right? There are many other brands, but we do not remember them much. But when you think about shoes, you think about Adidas, you think about Nike. Why? <laughs> because of the quality that they have right and also the logo right what logo are you going to use remember we were talking about yesterday about creating something that is memorable something that the people are going to remember the idea is to create an image in the people's mind and that is part of that right part of branding. Now, well, we will move to the conversation. Let's see. Josue says, I would like to create a brand for my environmental, for my environment friendly diapers. What do you have in mind? 
I see a lot of people are buying from you rather than getting the ones sold at the supermarket. Well, yes, that is the problem. People are calling them Joshua's, but that sounds just bad. And I can't come up with any better idea. You could call them no brand. No brand has become a trend for some products in Japan and Korea. Okay, now let's repeat. I would like to create a brand for my environment friendly diapers. I would like to create a brand for my environment friendly diapers. What do you have in mind? What, what do you have in mind? In mind. In mind. Yeah, a lot of people are buying from you rather than getting the ones sold at the supermarket. I see, I a, see, lot, I see a, lot a lot of people, people are buying, are buying from rather, from you rather than getting, rather the than ones getting one sold at the supermarket. Sold at the supermarket. Well, yes, that is the problem. Well, well yes. yes, yes, that is, that is the problem. problem. People are calling them Joshua. People, People are, are calling them Joshua. But that sounds just bad, and I can't come up with any better idea. But, but, but that, that sounds, sounds just bad. bad. And, and I, I can't, and I can't come, come up with Come up with any better, better idea. idea. You could call them no brand. You could, you could, you could call them no brand. No brand. no brand has become a trend for some products in Japan and Korea. No brand, no brand, brand has become a trend for some, some products, products, products in Japan and Korea. And Korea. Okay, what do you think about having a, a product that is called no brand? Do you have the idea of having a product with no brand? Or you think it is a good idea to give a brand to your product? Hmm? Mayoría de products chinitos no tienen brand feature. Los chinitos, no, no. They don't have brand. Uh -huh. The brand if is... Go, if you go and buy a toys, Okay. Uh, chinitos, you don't have to, you, no, you cannot, no. They you, can have see, uh -huh. you can see brand. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's true. That's true. They have no brand. Only the cell phones, right? Cell phones, yes. And they send, sell a lot of products. That's true. That's so people get to identify the product, not the name of the product, right? Mm -hmm. But in, the, in this case, uh, when you talk about the products of China, uh, almost, almost uh, everything is 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 a clone mm -hmm. because uh, but you say about you, you talk about the the cell phones. Uh -huh. Um, I was talk with a proveedor, no sé cómo se dice proveedor. A provider. A provider. Uh, from China uh, for a, a cell phones and the teclas de los, ¿cómo se llama? De los, de los que nosotros le decíamos frijolitos, Tich. Oh. Ajá. Uh -huh. uh -huh. And they sell the phones and say I can't put the the brand of you want whatever you want if you can put if you want to put um, Nokia they put Nokia in the in the phone if you want uh, put a Samsung, they put Samsung in the phone. They only uh, uh, need a quantify or a quantity. A big quantity. A big quantity. If uh, uh, 50,000 units and they put with, uh, whatever. Oh, what, uh, no sé, 
Any. Cualquier, any. Ajá, any, any, any brand. Wow. And in, <laughs> in this moment, in, in, in that moment, uh, you sell other brand, not the, the original. Not the original, exactly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it's important, the brand. Of course. Of course, because remember that the brand is the one that makes a product strong and memorable, right? Because people need a name to remember. So the brand is not just a name. It includes many other things, right? But people need something. It's like if we say, okay, what's your name? Oh, I have no name. Call me no name. <laughs> Don't tell me, Zoila, call me no name. So I have no name. So it will be the same case, right? Because even there are many people with the same name, we need a name to be identified. And the same happens with the product. If the product doesn't have a name, how can people identify it, right? So I think, right, I personally think a brand is very, very important because of that, because people need something to remember, something to, to, to call somewhere, right? So they can uh, buy that product and look for it later on. If no, imagine you go to a store and you say, I'm looking for a product. Uh -huh. What's the name? I don't know. It's a, no, no brand. <laughs> so you need it, right? We need to get a brand. Now, look at this. You're going to go uh, to the groups, right? I'm going to send you to the rooms. You're going to read the conversation together and then answer these questions. What product is Josue selling? What is an appealing characteristic for this product? Is the target audience interested in buying the product Josue sells? What does Amy suggest? Have you ever heard of this marketing strategy? No brand? Okay. That's what you're going to go discuss, page 25. 25. Let me... I'm going to make different groups. You're 16. Let's see. Okay, perfect. We go 4444. Ready? Did you see the conversation, page 25? Nice. Yes, teacher, yes. Great, great. There we go. Join. Join the rooms. Rebecca, Elmer, Carla, Christina. Grace, Claudia, join. Me estoy conectando de la compu, teacher. Ah, vaya, ya me conecto. Excellent. Nice, nice. La mando al dos. Ahí está. Al mismo donde se había ido el celular, la mande Carlita. Nice. I suppose. Um, uh, almost. <laughs> God, so sorry. But here I am. <laughs> Ready you for the conversation. And pick some coffee or pick some tea. You can go. I I, I can wait. I don't I don't like the coffee. Ah, really? No. <laughs> I don't like it. That's not possible, really. Yes. 
¿En son tíos, Alberto? Ah, uh, no. Hello. Hola, Carlita, no me diga que está solita. No, es que no sabemos qué vamos a hacer porque... Ah, vaya, vaya, sí, porque vienen llegando, ¿verdad? Ajá. Uh -huh. We are on page 25. Right now you are going to practice the conversation and answer the questions. Ah, okay. Thank you. Welcome. Teacher, todavía no llego a mi casa. Okay. Then you can listen. I don't know okay. if Felix, Felix is here. Yes, yes, I'm here. Ah, vaya. Perfect, Felix. Page 25, Felix. You're going to practice the conversation and then you will answer the questions. Okay. You are yo Josué and I am Emmy. Okay, okay. I would like to create a, a brand for my environment friendly diapers. What do you have in mind? I see a lot of people are buying from you rather than getting the one sold at the supermarket. Well, yes, that that is the problem. People are calling them Joshua's, but that sound just bad. And I come up with uh, any better idea. You could call, you could call them no brand, no brand has come a train for some products in Japan and Korea. Now I am Josue. Okay. I would like to create a brand for my environment friendly diapers. What do you have in mind? I see a lot of people are buying from you rather than getting the ones sold at the supermarket. Well, yes, that's it, the problem. People are calling the Joshua's, but the sound just bad. And I can't come up with any very idea. You call them no brand. No brand has become a trend for some products in Japan and Korea. Your last question. You can change roles and read again. Elmer. Y Elmer? I don't know if he's there. Por el momento, no disponible. Okay. Me disculpa. Ok, gracias. Okay. Sí, sí, teacher, ya, ya lo leí una vez como Josué y la otra como... Ah, como oh, ok, perfect. Sí. Look at the conversation and ask for the sentence below. What product is Josue selling? Environment friendly diapers. Creo que es. Diapers only, verdad, teacher? Sí, diapers. Oh. Oh. You can say environment friendly diapers mm -hmm. because oh. they are not a, a, a common diaper, right? Ah, uh, yes. Es amigable con el medio ambiente. Diapers amigables con el medio ambiente. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Exactly. They are environmentally friendly. What is an apple? A, a, a pe ¿Cómo se dice, teacher? Appel, appealing. 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 
Mm -hmm. What is an appealing characteristics of this product? Well, friendly with environment. It's friendly with the environment. Yes. Uh huh. Yes. Friendly with the environment. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because it is a uh -huh, it says in the name, right? Yes. Is the target audience interested in buying the product as to sales? Uh, buying. The audience is buying the product, but I don't know. The problem, I think that is the brand in the branding that they are calling, calling or saying bad, a bad name or something like that. But I think that they are buying the product. We are, we are in question number three. <clears throat> yeah. It's a dark interesting What do you think? Um, I think that the audience uh, actually is interested in buying the product. Yeah, yeah mm -hmm. it's interesting. But the only problem is that they have uh, not a uh, the name. Call it, call it, yeah, the product, the name. That is the problem. But the people are buying the product. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What does Amy suggest? <clears throat> what do you think? Call them. Call them the no, no brand. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like the company have no, have no brand. Yeah. Um, have you ever hear of this marketing study? No brand, yes, right? As uh, after we hear that the uh, uh, Chinese in the Chinese market, uh, they they don't have a brand, mm -hmm. so yeah, I, I already hit here that. Oh. <laughs> I don't know you. Miss Antonio, have you ever here? Sorry? Yeah, yes, yes, I hear about. You have heard. And recently, the, the face mats uh, sometimes no, no have. Uh, a brand, the, the, face, fa the mask. face mask. Face mask, what is, new ones. What is, what is that? Face mask. That's mascarillas. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. <clears throat> well, I I buy the 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 box of the face mask, so they have the the brown company. Uh huh. If you uh, buy the box, if you have, if you buy the box, they have a brand. <clears throat> but if you only buy only one, yeah, they they not going to have the the, the 
brand. Mm -hmm. Yes, the whole package does say that brand. That is the problem to buy only one. You don't know if you are buying the 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 one who the person take for the trust and they are selling you. <laughs> <laughs> so that is why you need to, to, to cut your face mask before you use it's true. After. That's after. true. Yeah. Uh -huh. Because you don't know, right? Yeah, yeah, you don't know. You maybe will you reuse that mask that you are really <laughs> uh, putting the the trash. <laughs> you <All right>. don't know. <laughs> in, in, the in the Salvador, maybe happens. <laughs> Everything is possible. That's why I don't buy things in the street. Uh, like the masks, right? Yeah. Talking about masks. Because the hula hula. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> Imagine, you never know what you're buying if they are really new or, or, or not. Uh -uh. <laughs> Maybe uh, you, you can guess that it's not a good product when you have also 25 or 50 face masks for one dollar <laughs> uh -huh. something like that <laughs> it's a bad product exactly i i choose in the good house of the good people <laughs> it's a good people good yeah, product I that they are very honest. <laughs> don't trust too much <laughs> because imagine no but i don't know it's I like buying it. water in the street, right? Yeah, yeah. You yeah. So you don't know if the bottle is, is new or if it was refilled. Yeah. They found the bottle and then they refilled that bottle. So yeah. you... I think that, that is not the problem. I think that maybe it will be a, a new uh will be a new product but uh, maybe the time that has happened to, the time that has passed has passed, uh -huh. has passed has to, uh, to to that product come to the market and maybe the quality uh, they 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 has no basis to the quality control yeah that's true there is no control with yeah. what you buy in the street, definitely. No control at all. Mm -hmm. Okay. Bueno, I guess they're finished, right? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, ready, finish. Oh. Yes. <laughs> okay. So then seven here. Seven, we continue seven. How many minutes? Well, seconds. Oh, 20 seconds. Mm -hmm. Nice. Okay, let's talk, let's go to the conversation. Well, to the questions. What product is Josue selling? Josue selling diapers. He's selling diapers. What is an appealing characteristic of this product? Friendly with the environment. It is environmentally friendly, or you can say it is friendly with the environment. Very good. Is the target audience 
interested in buying the product from Josue? People just become fathers. They become? Fathers. No, but check the question. Is the target audience interested in buying Josue's product? <coughs> I think the target audience is in interested. Yes. Yes. Yes, it is. Uh, one sold in the supermarket. <laughs> they prefer it, right? Teacher, I have a doubt in this question. Uh -huh. If I want to ask, uh, using a, a noun or a pronoun, pronoun, verdad? He, she, what, what, what I have to use in this case to answer? It's the target audience. It's not the target audience you want to put a noun, a pronoun. Ah, uh, yeah, pronoun. Here, instead of this. It is, or they are. Are people. But so they are. Yeah, but in the, <laughs> in the answer, yeah. Because the thing is this, I'm, I'm thinking about doing the question with a pronoun, but if I use a pronoun, I don't know who's the target market or the target audience, right? Or oh, I don't know exactly what am I, what I'm asking. So you need a noun here. In the answer, if you want, you can use a pronoun. And then you say, is the target audience interested in buying the product also sells? Yes, the target audience is interested. Or yes, the people are interested, right? Okay, thank you. Yeah, so it depends. Oh, yes, they are interested if you want to use a pronoun. But in the answer, in the question, mm -mm. I do not recommend it. Because the thing is that if you ask a question with a pronoun, the question is not very clear, right? You repeat, please. The, the question is not? It's not very clear what you're asking. For example, if you say, are they interested in buying the product Josue sells? They can, right? So it's not very clear who I'm talking about. That's why you need a noun, not a pronoun here in the question. In the answer, no problem. As you already know who you're talking about, you can use an, a pronoun. Yeah? We can, we can use the, the two forms. We can uh, answer. Okay. Yes, yes, they are interested. Yes, they are interested. Or, yes, the, the target or the audience is interested. Mm -hmm. Exactly. That the two that, forms is correct. Yeah. Oh. You know that, for example, if you say, who are the target and the target audience? The target audience are people, people who have babies. Right? So the target audience in if you say target audience, it is similar. But if you use, or if you're thinking about who the target audience are, you say target audience are people who have children under one year or two, right? Then uh, you can say, yes, they are interested in buying the products. It's not so easy to answer this kind of question. No, yes. The question, <laughs> it's easy to answer the question. What is what I'm telling Anna is that it's not possible to substitute because she was asking me if uh, what pronoun to use in the question. But the thing is that if you substitute this noun in the question to put a pronoun, the question will not be very clear. Exactly. Because uh, remember, when we want to use a pronoun, it's because we already mentioned the noun, right? But if we oh. haven't mentioned the noun before, we do not know who we are. That's why. Oh. Mm -hmm. 
That's why it is necessary to use the noun in the question. Even in the answer, you can use a pronoun, no problem. Thinking about target audience like people, or parents, or mothers, right? Okay. They are. Yes, they are interested in buying the product. Mm -hmm. Fíjense que me acabo de acordar de una cosa. De la tenas. Yes. <laughs> okay, Adriana María. Present teacher. Adriana Sofía. Sofía. <laughs> no está Sofía. Ana. Present teacher. Thanks. Cruz Antonio. Cruz. Cruz, Cruz. Cruz. Present teacher. Sorry. Present. David. Eddie Jonathan. A little late teacher, but present. Okay. Elmer Fabricio. Present teacher. Okay. Elmer. Elsa Cristina. Present teacher. Eating cake, but present. <laughs> <laughs> no, I am, I'm, I am, I am my house. Okay, okay. Felix Enrique. Present Felix. teacher. Grace Mitchell. Grace, Grace. No, here, Grace. Grace. I saw Grace somewhere. Was I dreaming? Hmm. Yeah, there she was. When everybody was with the camera closed, I saw her picture. Oh, me están asustando. No, verdad. <laughs> okay. Oh, teacher, mira, mira gente que no está. Yvonne Marcela. Yvonne, no. Jennifer. Jennifer Elizabeth. José Alberto. Present teacher. José Alfredo. Present teacher. Getting home, no yet? Yes. Okay, nice. Carla Lorena. Present teacher. Mario. Present. Here. Mm? Nubia. Present teacher. Rebecca. Present teacher. Rosy, 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 Victor, Claudia Guadalupe, present, and Mauricio, present teacher, nice, okay, Pacha, let's go back. Let's continue. Question number four. What does Amy suggest? What does Amy suggest? No Use brand. a brand name, no brand. Use a brand name, no brand, yes. Have you ever heard of this marketing strategy, no brand? I heard a song. Mm -hmm. Who was called no name? A what? <laughs> A boy. I, was, I was here a song. Oh, oh, I say my song is called number. <laughs> <laughs> say Anna, por favor. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> yes. Okay. Yeah, because sometimes, bueno, pero no, verdad, no, no. <laughs> After seeing Thousands of names at school. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Qué mala, qué mala. Vaya, let's move. Let's learn about branding. Check. What are some definitions for branding? I have here a couple. <coughs> Sorry. Vamos a ver. Your brand is the way your company is perceived in the eyes of the public. Branding, 
is any action you take to shape customers' perception of your business. Your brand identity consists of the assets you create during the branding, like your logo, your brand voice, and also uh, your brand color palette. Remember, each company has a color, right? That specific color that is part of the brand. For example, here you see, what colors do you see in the presentation of Inglés Corporativo here? Blue and white, blue. And light blue. And white, okay. So if you remember when we were in the beginners, right, the, the, the back, right, was white with the letters in blue. But when we came to intermediate, we changed blue, the blue uh, at the back and the letters in white. And probably when we go to advance, if we go together to advance. Yellow. No, because the colors of English Corporativo are blue and white. So I will put it white again, probably, right? So that is a, in this part, like the color palette that the company has. If you see, what are the colors of Insafort? I remember yellow and blue. Mm -hmm. You see here the name? Blue. And this is, I don't know if it is orange or red, right? Maybe orange. Color, Ashiote. Uh-huh, right. And look at the logo, that's the logo, right? And you recognize it wherever you see it. Look at, well, Inglés Corporativo with the, with the crown in yellow, right? But the colors of the page representing the, the, the brand, white and blue, right? White and blue. And the crown, that would be like our, like our logo, right? This is our logo. It's yellow. And you have, in a logo, you have all together. You include the name and some, something, right? Something that represents the company. So people can remember. So that's your logo, right? Now let's move. What is a brand asset? A brand asset is part of your brand identity. It is anything you create that helps identi identify your company to potential customers. For example, your logo, right? Your logo will likely have the highest visibility but design components like brand fonts. So what are the letters that you're using, right? Colors or taglines are also considered brand assets. For example, here, look at the big letters and the font that they have used for the letters and the small letters that are done with a different font and a different size. The same for in support, right? Look at the font. It's not the same font. And if you see the logo of IT, it has two different green, right? And the font that they use for the letter is different. Too. So that's very important, right? So design components like brand fonts, colors, or taglines, right, are also considered brand assets. Now, what is a brand audit? A brand audit is a deep dive into your brand to identify what's working and what's not working. And from there, develop a game plan for making improvements. So you check your brand, how attractive it is to people. Or if it is not working, you say, I know people don't, 
don't feel identified with this brand. And it could be because of the logo, let's change it, right? And the, the one that is in charge of checking that logo, if it is working or not, is the brand audit. Now, brand awareness is about generating familiarity and recognition in the market, right? That's brand awareness. You want people to, to get aware of your brand, to know you, right? Because you want to be well-known. Brand consistency. That consists of creating a, a consistent brand experience across all mediums, whether your company, website, social media, profiles, or print materials. Remember, we were saying that even after so many years, there are still people using printing, right? For promotioning their product. Mm -hmm. So that's brand consistency. That's creating consistent brand experience across all mediums. The website of the company that people like Google, right? To enter the website of your company to get to know more about the company social media, profiles, or print materials. Now we have brand equity. Brand equity is the value that your brand holds, both from a financial and a non-financial perspective, right? What is the value of your company? Then you have brand guidelines. Brand guidelines outline all the standards associated uh, with your brand in a single document. So you have a document that includes all these things. And remember that here in El Salvador, you can register your brand, right? And then nobody else can come and use your brand or your logo, or the design that you did. So this document, includes things like the brand color palette. What are your colors? So if somebody else comes and uses your color palette or your logo, your brand voice, your brand fonts, you can say hey, they are using something that is mine because I have already registered. I have it in a document and I went to CNR to register the documents, right? Now, you have brand positioning. It is how your company chooses to frame itself to the customers, to distinguish it from the competitors. Hmm? Generally, you'll determine your positioning based on three factors. One, the target audience. Two, the benefits. What benefit uh, does your company provide to the target audience? And then what differentiates your company from competitors difference? What's the difference? Why should people choose you over the competition? Hmm? So these are the three things that you consider when talking about brand positioning. How am I going to appear in front of the people, right? My, to get the position that I want to get, that is, of course, being the number one, okay? So, remember, something that makes your brand unique are these three things. One, the brand name, the logo, right, the logo type, a motto, and the jingle. What is a motto? I'm going to, to send you to the groups for you to go discuss a little bit about these four things. What is the brand name? What is a logo type? What is a motto? And what is a jingle? Yes? What's a motto? Hmm? What's a motto? I don't know, teacher. Vaya, you will go check. <laughs> I teach it, que mala. See you, see. But I'm going to send you to go and discuss with your group and check. 
what you're going to do is this. First, check the meaning of this, the logo you know, right? So you check the brand name, a model, and a jingle. And once you know what they are, because these are four characteristics or four things that make your product unique, right? Once you have that, you will do this. You will create a product. Think of the different aspects that make a product unique. The branding, the logo, the motto. And what is the other one? And the jingle. Okay. And then you will share that with the class. I'm going to give you 15 minutes, I guess is enough. No, teacher, please more time well i'm going to be watching you anyway to see how you're doing right because you you're investigating well brand name you as a group sometimes how do brands names appear sometimes it's nothing complicated just a uh, unifying the names of all the people in the group imagine you are Okay, you are, let me check one of the groups. Uh, well, I cannot see the groups. But imagine if we have, by allí, que los tengo así en orden. Mauricio, Ana, y Nubia. And then yes, you, teacher. okay, my company, my product brand name is Man. Porque Man, because Man, game for Mauricio, A for Ana. And for Nubia. Yeah, simple, right? So that is, you miren y cabalito se quedaron ahí. So that is uh, when uh, most of the times that's just the single or the simple reason for a brand name that you receive. Well, because it sounds very good because it sounds attractive or it can be appealing to people and because it is sticky, right? Oh, because you want to include the, the letters of the name of the people that are in the group, okay? So th those are different reasons. So you can consider that as your creative brand. Right? Or you create the name of your brand. And then eh, make a logo, así simple, dibujadito con lapicito, right? Don't go like making a. Teacher. The computer. Tell me, Mauricio. We can use one that already exists. Mm, yeah. Yeah, you can use one that already, yeah, because it would be difficult to create one. Last course, we created one, so you can use that one, right? And then think about the logo, the motto, and the jingle. Vamos. There you go. Any questions? Remember first, I first investigate a little bit about brand, logo, motto, jingle. And then, and then, you tell me about this. The jingle will be good night, good night. It's time to sleep. <laughs> it depends if I like that. I like that. If you're selling bells, that's okay for me. <laughs> if you're selling <laughs> bells, so if you're selling, I have one. Yeah. If you're selling accessories for the bed. That'd be okay. Perfect. <laughs> perfect, perfect jingle. <laughs> okay, so you had to think about, okay, if you're creating a product that will help people sleep, because people cannot sleep, I don't know why. I just put my head and I wake up tomorrow, right? But if you're, cre <laughs> if you're creating a product uh, for making people sleep, that'd be a good jingle. Because but on the on the brand it needs to be in Spanish or mm -hmm. the brand name uh, will be uh, 
needs to be in English or it will be in Spanish too? In Spanish. Mm, remember that names don't have translation, right? So? But it's not like a, a name is a word. Yeah. yeah. A name is a word. It's not a big sentence. That is the motto, right? The name is only one word. You see, Coca-Cola, pizza, salva cola, right? So just one word. Well, pizza is too. <laughs> that that the, the name is only one or two words. I would prefer you to do it in English completely. Yeah. Okay. Va pues, vámonos. No questions, right? Ah, I have to. I have to paste this. Teacher, are you going to send us the picture? <laughs> yes, I was thinking about that right now. I'm going to share it there. Bye, there you go. I'm going to make groups of four again. Watch. Let's go. Let's go. For health, think better than one only, right? Try to join. Adri, Sophie, Felix, Jose, Alfredo. ¿Cómo? No, ideas para, para, para alguna idea para hacer el Okay, a Primero bag, la marca, ¿va? A bag or a ball for playing soccer. Um, I was thinking about a mirror that have a como un espejo en el que en el que haya como un asistente virtual que nos enseñe a hacer ejercicio, algo así. Okay. Okay. I can, I can. Tengo un espejo cerca y no sé por qué lo pensé. <laughs> You're watching yourself in the mirror. That's unique. It is it's interesting because it's unique. Uh -huh, exactly. Uh -huh. uh, it, uh, it is not a bad, uh, bad idea. It, could be. it is a good idea. <laughs> uh, okay. Let me let, let me look for some information about it. Fitness assistant. Fitness, it could be a mirror. Virtual virtual fitness fitness, fitness. assistant. Fitness. Something like that. Virtual fitness. A mirror fitness um device. Mm -hmm. Oh device. Mm -hmm. Virtual fitness mirror. Okay. Smart. Oh my god. It could I, be a smart I, mirror. Some someone. Not something. Sorry. It's already Oh, it is very interesting. Okay. I can share my screen with you. And okay, Elsa. It is. Moro. 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 
sentence or phrase choosing? A sentence or phrase, as I, I say in, in the picture Toy Story, they say al infinito y más allá, that, that as a motto or no. No, but that's a movie. <laughs> so, the, the remember, a phrase is something, for example, bajo el techo rojo, solo las mejores pizzas. Right? So that's a phrase that you will remember about the product. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because uh, uh, it's something that uh, you see that or you listen to that and you think about the product. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you think about the brand. Bueno. Para los que somos Dori, que todo se nos olvida. <laughs> no, pues sí. That's why companies need something to remind us. <laughs> Paya, so what the, what the product or oh, we create a product by what is our product pardon what sería nuestro producto como ya then it well it's time to sleep we can create a a pillow for sleep a special pillow. Okay. The one that you only put your your head on the pillow and it 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 uh, no it smells something and you sleep. <laughs> hey. Jose Alfredo and Carlita. Ah, Carlita está at the party, vea. Mm -hmm. So, Jose Alfredo, what do you think? Ay, ¿Qué le puedo decir, Ana? Dígame <risa> usted. ¿Alguna idea sobre Ajá. el producto? Ajá. Ando corto de ideas, Ana. Ay, come on. ¿Algún, ¿Alguna bebida before sleep? ¿Qué tal alguna bebida con multivitaminas? <risa> Que ya lo lleve incorporado. Sí. Que no sea energizante, sino que sea saludable. Uh -huh. Ok, maybe we can, we can este, create a water of apio. Ah, espérenme, voy a buscar cómo se dice apio. <risa> apio. Celery. Celery. Ok, celery water, for example. Para you, can, you can say green water. Oh. Could be the brand. Sí. Espérame, okay. we have to read about the properties about celery. Espérame. Vamos a ver. Dice que celery ah, contains vitamin C, beta caroteno, and flavonoids. A ver qué es eso. And, but there are at least 12 additional kind of antioxidant nutrients found in a single stock. Supongo que en una sola rama, vea. Oh. <laughs> It is also, <laughs> It is also a wonderful source of phytonutrients, which have been shown to reduce instance of inflammation in the digest tract cells, blood vessels, and organs. Muy bueno para la dieta. And the benefits are a great source of important antioxidants, celery reduce inflammation, and supports digestion. Ah, that's a good uh, beverage before sleep. Yes. Celery is rich in vitamins and minerals with a low glycem glycemic index. No, quedémonos con lo, de, con lo de la digestion before sleep. Yes. ¿Le parece? 
Perfecto. But to <laughs> not forget, uh -huh. it's also a diuretic. Uh -huh. So that means that you will go to the bathroom in the middle of the night. Oh my God. No, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> but they don't know, but they don't know, so we can do it. <laughs> we won't tell them. <laughs> The effect of secondary effects. Yeah, so they won't they won't know. So that's no problem, right? Uh -huh. So we can call we can call the product, for example, a easy sleep. No, pere me. Mire, hagamos una storm break. Tabaquita. La tita ya está, ya existe. Ah, pues la vaquita feliz. <risa> ya existe. De verdad. De Sell Cheese. De Sell Cheese para la vaquita feliz. Leche mu. Leche mu. <risa> ok. Leche mu. Leche, mu leche, leche mucho, <ríe> leche mucho, leche mu o también así, que es una empresa francesa, leche mu <ríe> leche mu con tilde en la U, Ay, leche mu la vaca loca, oh, ok, But, mm, remember, What we were talking about yesterday. If you have a name that will show uh, um, an illness in this case, like, como la fiebre de las vacas locas, you won't sell it. Right? Yeah. It's not good. <laughs> mm -hmm. La fiebre de la vaca loca. No, <laughs> no, porque nos vamos a enfermar. So, uh -uh. <risa> ¿Qué vende el calostro? Voy a vender. <risa> Dicen que el calostro es la, es la mejor leche. Yo no creo que sea la mejor leche. Porque es que como es la, la primera leche que viene de la vaca, y entonces es la, más, la que posee más bacterias. Sí, guacala, ¿no? <risa> es, la más, es la más vitaminada. Por de chivito. Ah, pues sí, vaya, por eso. Si la, si la toma el chivito, la puede tomar una persona. I don't know. <risa> si es buena para él, ahí está el logo. Si es buena para él, es buena para usted. Ahí está. Oh, no, no, ayúdate, <risa> moro. Ahí está. You have the moro. If it is for the chivito. It is good, it's good for you. Okay. If it is good for you to eat, it is good for you. I know. Hasta el sueño se le fue a morir. Imagine. Vaya, ya tenemos Moro, brand name. Y falta el, el logo. El logo y el jingle. You will make a cow. Cow. Es <laughs> simple, muy simple. A cow. Remember that it has to be something that people will remember, right? Yeah, yeah. Vamos a buscar Leche de cabra o más o menos. Ok. De cabra loca. <ríe> Ay, no. Después van a andar brincando, Mario. <ríe> Ay, no, Mario. De nuevo va a ser una camioneta. Como la camioneta, si va al centro, ya he visto, ya he visto cómo la, 
Near the Ula Ula, right? Sí, 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 ahí está. Vaya, entonces va a ser ahí está. Leche. Leche, leche muy ahí está. Leche muy. Leche muy. Ahí le mandé un, una imagen de vaca. De leche. Ah, pero a mí me la mandó. Es que yo no, yo, usted está, no, no va a compartir usted. Ah, vaya, vaya, vaya. vaya. <risa> en mi mente voy a hacer la anotación. Oh, my goodness. Lechería de mi sentido. Leche, leche, mu, así, así de la o, leche, mu, leche, mu, mu. The jingle. The jingle, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh. Only boys in this group. Yes. Yeah. Vamos a ver cómo funciona toda maquinaria. Ready. All the, all the ideas are football. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, no, no. I, I, I lie. World Cup. Same thing about the World Cup. <laughs> no, we are thinking of food. Oh, okay. Yeah, food about the wing, Mauricio. Hello, teacher. <laughs> I see you like this. Estoy haciendo lo de logos, ok. Estoy viendo que quiere. Ok. Teacher, can we skip the jingle? Come on. No. It's the easiest part. <laughs> and it's the funniest one. We don't have uh, a, uh, the hymns, uh, the hymns uh, of the the flavor of the sea. ¿Cómo era? The Italian taste of sea. Mauricio will will sing. <laughs> right. Maybe not. Maybe not. You have okay. I'm going to take you out in two minutes. How much? Two, two minutes. Two minutes. Mm -hmm. So you all have enough time to cheer. Mm -hmm. um, the, the, the jingle can be uh, short. Um, yeah. Five seconds. <laughs> How many? Five seconds. Five. One word. One word. <laughs> no, no, tampoco. No, because one word is the name. The brand, <laughs> the brand is only one word. Hey, hey, um, 
I think the the motor. Mm -hmm. uh, can we change the Italian taste of CA for the Italian taste of craft for the jingle? Because in the jingle we can sing uh, pizza craft, pizza craft, the Italian taste of the craft. Yeah, that's all. <laughs> yeah, ya está. Ah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Está la presentación. So the motto it's the Italian taste of crowd. What do you say about that? I don't say, I don't see anything. Sorry. <laughs> I think it's more dark than I think. No. 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 Lo, lo voy a terminar y lo voy a compartir mejor. Ok. okay. Ok, well... You have one minute. Go. One, one minute. minute. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Almost. Twelve seconds. Yeah. Okay. Nice. Who will be my first volunteer? Who will be my first volunteer? Ana. Vamos en orden, pues, de los grupos. No, teacher, it's okay. It's okay. I was just uh, putting my work in, in a presentation. Okay. In the beginning. I'm your group number two. Then you choose one, three, or four, Anna. Okay. Then, mm -hmm. uh, may I share the screen? Sure. Well, our product it is called Green Bed. Our Tomorrow will be Happy Tommy before sleep. Okay. And uh, what else? <laughs> and the logo, it, it's Calamardo because we know how Calamardo is. <laughs> Always. So Green Bed will, will make you happy. <laughs> it turning in a happy, in a happy person. <laughs> Okay, nice. What about the jingle? Hey, the jingle. We didn't finish the jingle. <laughs> ah, but you had it already. Ah, good night. Farewell, green. Uh, drink green bed before the sleep. <laughs>
<laughs> okay, very good. Thank you, Anna. Thank you very much. Now, Anna, who's next? One, three, or four? Three. Three. Adriana, Sofia, Mario, Nubia, and Rebecca. Oh, uh -huh, you can share. What a nice motto. If it's good for the TV, it's good for you. <laughs> Wow, oh, look at Leche Moon. Okay, go ahead. Who will, who will, who will explain that? Mario? Mario, Mario. Sorry, sorry, I was talking along. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, the, the product that we are going to sell is uh, milk. The brand name that we choose is Lechemo. Lechemo, because uh, we, we, ex we export the milk. We are a French company. Okay. <laughs> so uh, we have that low, um, and we, uh, we have um, a model. That is, if it is good for Chivito, it is good for you. Uh, because <laughs> uh, the, uh, the meal that the, the cow brings to the Chivito is the, the first meal that the cow brings to the Chivito is, is the best, is the best. So we, we, we sell the best meal for you. Okay. What about and the jingle? The jingle is Chivito, Chivito, you are so bonito. It's our Chivito. So when you drink the milk, you all drink it with the leche more. <laughs> nice. Very good. Very good. Very good. Nice. <laughs> okay, now Mario, choose one or four. 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 Cruz, Felix, Jose, Alberto, and Mauricio. The boys group. Yeah, the Backstreet Boys. <laughs> okay. Oh, perfect. Wow. Do you pronounce that? <laughs> Club feature. Okay. Go ahead. Who will present it? I can present it. Sure. Wow. Our product is Crab's Pizza and the logo, the logo type is Crab Pizza. Uh, the motto is, oh, I had a little change. Uh, the motto is the Italian taste of, of crabs and the jingle. <laughs> I know. The jingle is uh, pizza crab, pizza crab, the Italian taste of the crab. That's all. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay, very good. Now, number one, no choice, no option. Okay, go ahead. In use of time. Yeah. Um, that's Adriana, Maria, Eddie, Elmer, and Elsa, Christina, right? Go. Go, go, go. Who will, who will cheer? Mauricio. Cheer. <laughs> okay. We have the best mirror in the world. It's the best option for you to do exercise every day. 
and the run. Okay, um, I want to, uh, I, I, I need help <laughs> for my classmates if they have the order that, that explain the, the imagine, but if they cannot, if they cannot, I can explain. Who is, who is in my group? Adriana Maria, Eddie Elmer. Hi guys. Uh, I, I, okay. Could you could you could you explain in order in order the imagine of the idea? What is uh, what is the what is the logo? What is the brand? What is the could you explain? Uh, okay. Okay, uh, maybe uh, I will try to explain that uh, Lowe is the first, the, the first, uh, uh, I forgot the words. Uh, 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 how do you say diapositive in English, teacher? Slide. <laughs> slide. slide. Well, what? A slide. Ah, a slide. Sorry. A slide is, uh, or, uh, or, uh, a logo uh, and and in second uh, you have uh, how you are using uh, the fitness mirror uh, it's like a screen uh, like a telephone screen just like just in this case is a, a, a more a, a bigger. bigger more bigger and uh, uh, after some weeks, you can see the uh, uh, your uh, the result, uh, results. Ah, okay. Okay. How, 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 how you can see you Result. in a uh, little weeks uh, okay. in that case. And um, it's just only that. It is any. I don't have, I, I, I don't know what more uh, my partners uh, uh, want to say. <laughs> okay, there is a smart mirror of fitness in our gym world. And your body will have the best shape. And your motivation <laughs> will be the highest. <laughs> oh, that's it. Yeah, very good. We don't put the, the motto, but we just say that looking in the mirror will not be the same. Okay. Okay. Yes. Looking at it will not be the same. Nice. I like it. Okay. Good. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Wow. Okay. Good job, everybody. Right. Very good. Very good. You were very creative. I really love it. Excellent. Excellent. Okay. Well, that's it for today. Let's go for the last attempt. But we will clap everybody. Me gustó el leche muy. Yo creo que lo vamos a patentar. Yes. Leche muy. Nice. Nice, nice. Okay, a ver. Tell me present. Um, Adriana, Adriana Maria. Present. Adriana Sofia. Present teacher. Ana. Present teacher. Cruz. Cruz Antonio. Present. Present teacher. David. Eddie Jonathan. Present teacher. Elmer Fabricio. Elmer. Elsa Cristina. Present teacher. Felix. Present teacher. Grace Michelle. Ivo Marcela. Jennifer. Jose Alberto. Present teacher. Jose Alfredo. Present teacher. Carla Lorena. Present teacher. Mario. Yeah. Nubia. Present teacher. Rebecca. Present teacher. 
Rosy, Victor, Claudia Guadalupe, and Mauricio. Um, Present teacher. A question. A ver, a ver. Eddie. Eddie. Hola, hola. I have a question for you. Uh, tell me. Vaya, are you in the WhatsApp group? Ah, no, teacher. Uh, I I don't have. I I I am I am not in the group. Uh, what's that? Why? Uh, because I remember that I was told you. Uh, uh, I I I'm, I I'm having problems with the, my telephone. In this case, I have a new telephone. Uh, but uh, I I don't know if you can uh, send me uh, to, uh, all the links uh, or I don't know how can I do. It. Maya, let me share. Maya, another question with the platform. Uh, nope. No, I'm not in the platform. Bye. Communicate with Inglés Corporativo because if you don't work the platform, you do not pass the course. Así de, oh, okay. así de simple. Aunque oh, okay. te tenga asistencia completa, si la plataforma tiene cero, no hay pase de curso. Oye. Oh, ok, solo, oh. solo para explicar un poquito más rápido, teacher, ah. eh, como estoy teniendo problemas un poco con el horario de trabajo, entonces ah. hoy sí ya me estoy conectando un poquito más seguido, ah. pero esos detalles sí los había dejado pasar por alto y las disculpas. Sí. sí, ahí ya completamos dos unidades y el examen de medio curso. Yo necesito que usted revise su correo porque ahí le mandaron todas las credenciales para poder entrar a la plataforma, ahí donde le llegaron las credenciales para entrar a clase, ahí le llega. aquí le acabo de pegar el link para que se una al grupo de WhatsApp, oye. Ok, terminando la clase igual lo voy a revisar y la disculpa uh -huh. teacher hoy, mañana nos ponemos al correo. Y allí revise su correo, porque ahí le deben haber mandado las credenciales para entrar a la plataforma, si tiene problemas, comuníquese allí mismo en el grupo de WhatsApp, Está toda la gente de, de, de inglés corporativo que nos apoya en esos detalles. Hoy. Oh, ok, gracias. Y se comunique y le ponga, tengo problema para entrar a la plataforma o cualquier cosa. Hoy. Ok, okay gracias. Gracias, muy amable. Les aviso, también les mando cosas al grupo de WhatsApp. Entonces, bien importante que estén allí. ¿Quién dijo teacher? Yo, mi. Eh, Elmer said, I can't talk and uh, you can tell the teacher I am here. Yeah. Elmer Fabricio dice que no se no puede hablar y que pero que ahí está. Ah, ok, ok. ¿A ah, dónde está? Ah, ya lo vi. Ok. Pacha. Otra cosita. Ah, ve que de verdad que yo vi yo vi dos meses y no lo leí. <laughs> Qué barbaridad, teacher. Sí, no, sorry, el mes, ya lo vi. Vaya, cheque. Otra cosa. A ver, aquí yo tenía otro pendiente. Sofi. Sofi. Sofi ya se salió. No, aquí estoy, aquí estoy. Sofi me completó el examen de medio curso. No, eso tienes, no me puedo meter a la, a la plataforma. Ahorita la tengo con cero en lista. Ok. Yo lo completo. Vaya, no me deje llegar hasta final de curso, por favor. No, no, no. Eh, me atrasan, ya se los dije. Eh, quiero ver Elmer. También Elmer me tiene a cero unidad 2 y examen de medio curso. Bueno, Grace no está. Y todos los demás estamos muy bien completos. Váyanse adelantando ya, ya pueden ir haciendo unidad 3, ¿verdad? Así es que ahí vean lo que ya pueden hacer, que está fácil. Démosle, démosle, démosle con todo. Oye, ok, vámonos pues. Ay, ¿quién se queda conmigo? <risa> Hoy es class number 16, ¿sí verdad? Great, no. 16, Mario. 
16, 17. ¿Cuándo me es esta? 16. Sí, ¿verdad? A ver. A pues Mario le toca. Mario, ya se fue. <ríe> Mario, ¿por qué no es café? <ríe> Vaya, pues, see you tomorrow. Have a nice night. Bye, bye. bye. Bye, good night. Bye, good night. Good night. Good night. See you tomorrow. Take care. Good night, everybody. Bye bye. 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 Bye bye. Bye. bye, -bye. A la derecha. Okay. A ver. Tell me, do you have any questions, comments? No. No, <laughs> no I have to wait for three more minutes. <laughs> Three more minutes. No, pues hasta ahorita no quiero ver. Yo, de verdad, no sé. Este, ya hablando aquí dentro de solito. Este, bueno, no solito porque está grabado. Pero, uh -huh. No sé, yo estaba estudiando en la nacional inglés ya hace dos años antes que empezara lo de la pandemia. Entonces, este, siento algo metódico esto. Y no sé, no, no, no es lo que yo esperaba al entrar. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yo esperaba otra metodología y lo que viene a encontrar tal vez el, es lo mismo, es lo mismo que estaba allá. No está mal, no está mal, porque es la práctica, ¿verdad? Siempre es la que uno que tiene que estar preciso. Pero no sé, no sé. Well, what were you looking for? Mm, primeramente la gramática. La gramática uh -huh. es mi fallo. Mi fallo uh -huh. completamente. Este repaso de los, de los verbos. Pasado. Ah, the thing is that we started that in the, at the beginning. Eso, eso, más que todo. Ajá. Eso, más que todo lo que le iba a decir, de que si me podía hacer el favor, este, o, yo me imagino, yo siempre he notado en los tiempos que, porque, o sea, a, todavía antes de eso, de que yo estudiaba inglés, es, antes estaba con otra compañía, otra empresa, otro lugar que estaba en inglés, y yo he notado que hay bastante déficit en en la conjugación de los verbos. Uh -huh. Siempre, en, no importa en el nivel que vaya, siempre a la gente le cuesta eso. Uh -huh. Entonces, este, y a mí también, yo no soy la excepción, ¿verdad? Siempre a mí. Entonces, tal vez, si sí nos puede ser el favor de, de pasar lo, la lista de los verbos, ¿verdad? Ahí en internet, google, ahí ponga. Verbos en pasado y le salen como sí. verbos. Sí, yo pues sí, yo lo puedo compartir, pero siento que eh, es más eh, como que llega más a las personas si lo que lo comparte es la ticha. O sea, yo sí lo puedo compartir, yo no, claro, una búsqueda en internet, cualquiera lo puede hacer, pero siento que es más impactante cuando una, una entidad superior lo comparte, le mm. ponen más atención. Mira, yeah. va, listen. Eh, eh. Como usted dice, es metódico, ¿verdad? Vamos, nosotros venimos desde allá, desde hace cuántos cursos atrás, como que nueve cursos atrás. Entonces, el presente, pasado, futuro, todo eso ya lo vimos. Eso se vio sí. en, pues, allá en los primeros cursos, ¿verdad? Entonces, vamos avanzando en los puntos. Y acuérdese, este no es un curso de gramática, es sí, sí, sí. De inglés para el trabajo. Entonces, los temas que Insafor tiene preparados son así como temas bien específicos para ciertas áreas. Eso, es que eso he visto, eso he visto que ah. se han enfocado bastante en lo que es la, el vocabulario laboral. Exacto, exacto. Es que el programa en el que usted se ha metido se llama así. Es inglés para el trabajo. Entonces, oh. no es un curso de gramática, es un curso de inglés para el trabajo. Entonces, por eso es que sí se toca gramática,
pero no, no es un curso dedicado solamente a grammar, porque el, el programa requiere que la gente aprenda tanto a comunicarse, que aprenda vocabulario. La, la gramática va como implícita dentro de todo. Sí se ve cierto punto gramatical esa parte, pero un tan, eh, también no se dedica solo a grammar, porque como le digo, no es un curso netamente de grama, ¿verdad? Sino que la idea es preparar a la gente para enfrentar eh, estas cuestiones en inglés en su ambiente laboral. Laboral, ajá. Sí. Ajá, es, es de ayudar a la gente a poder comunicarse y, y a comprender cuando esto punto le corresponde dentro de su trabajo. Eso, 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 por lo menos en parte sí me gusta, uh -huh. porque justamente en la, bueno, como comentaba en la clase, este, prácticamente yo soy nuevo en la empresa, tendré que uh -huh. sus cuatro meses, tres, tres, seis, cinco, por ahí. Entonces, uh -huh. y gracias a ellos me han dado la oportunidad de unirme al grupo. Uh -huh. Este, <coughs> y algo irónico que me pasó hace poco fue que antes de escribirme yo el curso, eh, me comentaban de que estaban buscando a alguien que supiera hablar inglés. Entonces yo me puse a pensar, o sea, yo puedo más o menos hablar inglés, pero yo no voy a poder hablar los temas de una, de una empresa. Entonces es bueno que toquen ese, ese, ese tema <coughs> más como laboral, ¿no? sí, sí. eso sí, sí me gusta. Sí, sí, allí este, recuerde que hay diferentes cursos, ¿verdad? Y depende que, a qué usted exactamente le está tirando, porque aquí este programa sí es netamente inglés para el trabajo, ¿ya? o sea, así se llama el programa. Entonces, capacitarlo en diferentes aspectos laborales y por eso es que venimos desde desde allá, desde el inicio del producto y todo eso, ¿verdad? Desde el, desde el nivel uno. El nivel pasado, los temas eran completamente o sea, diferentes, siempre al ambiente laboral, porque ese es el propósito del programa. Ya es un programa tirado así por Insafor, ¿verdad? Y el manual es algo que también lo ha tirado Insafor, no es sí. algo que sí. se puede cambiar. Pero eh, allí se va adaptando todo a un ambiente laboral y aplicándolo a, 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 aplicándolo a la empresa de cada uno. Porque el propósito es que, que cada uno vaya, como dice usted, tiene alguna oportunidad de, laboral, ¿verdad? Y que le piden inglés, pero que maneje cierto vocabulario, ciertos temas, está familiarizado con ello, ¿verdad? Y una consulta final, tal vez, es, es con el tiempo de finalización, tanto de este módulo como de ya, de, 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 de todo el curso de inglés. Este, digamos, de aquí, ¿cuánto más serían? Unos, quiero ver, como unos ocho meses, tal vez. ¿no? Más o menos. Uno sigue constante, o sea, y pasa todos los módulos. Unos ocho meses serían los. Sí, más o menos, ocho o nueve meses. Y vaya, y de ahí, este, uh, en esta siguiente semana, nosotros estaríamos, bueno, como primera vez para mí, ¿verdad? Este, estaríamos mandando de regreso el formulario a la empresa, ¿verdad? Exacto, exacto. Y ese formulario lo enviarían. Ese ah, formulario se los provee inglés corporativo. Eso es el. Se lo tengo que pedir de regreso. Sí. Ellos ah, mandan el formulario a su empresa, entonces usted tiene que estar pendiente, ¿verdad? De hecho, ya tendría que ser. Entonces, ya podría usted estar preguntando en recursos humanos de su empresa cómo están ellos, si ya están preparados para ir mandando o, o si ya reciben, ¿verdad? Los documentos que tienen que completar y firmar y volver a mandar. Entonces, eso es eh, ya. Sí, prácticamente ya. ¿verdad? Entonces, pregunten su empresa, ¿verdad? Si ya se los mandaron y si no se los han mandado, ahí se puede comunicar con alguien de inglés corporativo. Ahí de los mismos que están en el grupo de WhatsApp para que ellos le provean el material, porque sí, ya toca realmente. Allá, ¿qué? 
Hoy es 13, estamos. Sí, sí. Uh -huh. que tenía entendido que era la, la segunda semana de este de clase. Sí, sí. sí. Sí, ya me pasó una semana. Que, pero, uh. Sí, antes de que le digan, ups, como que ya no se puede, ¿ve? entonces sí. de mandar pronto. Ajá, porque sí. Se el tiempo. perdió el grupo. Y... Pues, <risa> sí, porque el tiempo corre, ¿verdad? O sea, ponerse las pilas. Y sí, no, no, usted ponga las pilas y, y, y pues grammar, hay dos puntos gramaticales casi que por unidad, ¿verdad? Y es lo que podemos ir cubriendo. Y de ahí lo demás dedicado a los, a los temas provistos. Pero eh, sí, en los manuales anteriores, allá vimos presente, vimos pasado, vimos futuro, hemos visto conditionals, hemos visto passive voice, present perfect. Entonces, o sea, todos esos tenses eh, ya los venimos viendo desde, desde atrás, ¿verdad? Desde el beginners. Entonces, eh, sí. Le voy a compartir un par de links, no le prometo así como que sí, sí, ajá. Porque, porque pues sí, a veces ya si se les satura, se asustan. Sí, 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 correcto. En el manual, de hecho, también tienen ustedes algunos links. Eso también iba a decir cómo puedo. Eh, por ejemplo, en la página 27 tiene uno de cosas. Causative verbs, que es el, el nuevo punto gramatical que vamos a discutir en, en esta unidad. ¿Verdad? Los causatives. Entonces, allí hay, hay unos links, algunos le dan videos, otros le proveen información así como para leer, ¿verdad? Para ir poniendo en, así familiarizándonos un poquitito más con los temas, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Y, y, y a darle con, no. <ríe> y a darle con todo, le digo, sí. sí, sí. Mi... <coughs> Y tal vez la última pregunta. Y sí. no me tome, no, 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 no es que te ofendido y agradezco su, sus enseñanzas, ¿verdad? Este, pero la pregunta es si siempre es el mismo profesor o no Pues fíjese que con este curso venimos desde el nivel 1. Mm. De beginners. Uh -huh. Entonces, eh, nos, no sabemos hasta dónde vamos a llegar juntos o si nos van a mover o qué, ¿verdad? No hay problema, aquí seguimos hasta que se termine. El año. <ríe> okay. Okay. Bueno, pues, ahí estaríamos. Ok, vaya, pues, Mario, a dormir, hoy sí. A dormir. A mimir. A dormir. A tomar una leche muy primero y dejar de jingo. <ríe> <ríe> Bye-bye. Take care. Bye. Bye-bye.